so <laughs> that's just what happens after a while. Okay, um, I wanted to ask too. Um, we I know um, James Quiggle has a new book released. Uh, would you like to tell us about that? Wonderful. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Um, and it was just released. Fantastic, congratulations. Does anybody else have a new release or, or something that they, yes. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And is there anybody else that has any other new releases or, or announcements? Yes. 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 I was going to say right there on the corner of the table with the t-shirts. Success, success. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> okay, well, we've got one other. If there, it, Does anybody else have an announcement here? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So stay for that if you get if you can. Um, uh, I have another announcement. Um, Jody sent us a, an announcement. Um, Jody Thomas is one of our life members um, with our organization, and she is going to have um, an evening with Jody at the Craig. And it is going to be um, Thursday, July the 21st. So it's coming up this next week. Um, and RSVP by the 18th. And if you want the information, I'm going to have it right up here by um, by my stuff. And <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I get that reaction a lot. <laughs> so, okay. No, you're fine. You're fine. As... Uh, just a thought, if you've got a phone and you want to go ahead and silence it, now's a good time to do that. So <laughs> thank you, Janet, for that reminder. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm sorry. We always have fun. I just, I'm telling you. Okay. Um, yeah, besides, besides Rick, is, are there anybody else? And besides our lovely speakers that have a table back here with their books, is there anybody else who has um, books with them to sell? Okay, I've got some, but if you, I mean, I'm not going to set them out, just find me. Um, <laughs> I'm too busy. I'm just, <laughs> no. Um, I want to also let everybody know Karen Gamage, um, who is our treasurer in the back there, um, she has designed the cutest t-shirts that are for sale back here. Um, if you get a chance, please, please, please grab one, um, pay her for them. Um, they're just adorable. And, um, it's just a really, I mean, that's a cute way to tell people that you're a writer and get them to ask about you. Um, okay, let's see. We're running along here as fast as we can. Okay, um, we're going to start our business meeting right now, and this is the actual actual business, the serious stuff. Okay, um, 
Right now in our treasury, um, we have with combined with all of our assets, we have eighty nine hundred dollars eighteen or eighty nine eighteen seventy. Um, so right now, for the first time in a million years, money is not an issue for our organization, which is fantastic. <laughs> So um, we've made some investments and, and some things like that, and um, we're doing very well. Um, right now, our membership, as of our business meeting this morning, as of our board meeting this morning, our membership was 69 members plus um, our students plus our life members. And so we're we're inching our way toward 100 members, which, um, you know, back in the day, that was kind of just obvious but um these these days we're kind of trying to just grow our membership again so i want to thank y'all for that and spread the word um you know bring friends whenever you can um our september meeting is in the process of organization um we've got we've got some options that we're working with and details um, that we will send out in our newsletter to let you know who for sure is speaking and everything but here's the here's the biggest thing to remember about our september meeting it just happens to fall on the same day as the Tri-State Fair. And if you remember from last year, they block off Tyler, so people cannot get here. So what we are going to do is we're going to move, we're gonna stay on that same day because the month of September, if you move, it doesn't matter when, there's always something. Um, but because of that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move to, meet, to our meeting time um, in the afternoon. So we will meet, is, at one o'clock okay yes and so please 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 mark it on your calendar take a sticky note pin it to your shirt if you need to whatever um to remember to to make that change we will put it in our newsletter we're going to announce that um as much as we can um, just try to remember if you if you come first thing in the morning you can't get here and as soon as you see that you can't get here just go home and plan on coming right back have a good breakfast or something <laughs> okay um our november meeting um our program is set at right now with um robin conley who is a book doctor so um we'll put in some more details about that but we're expecting that one to be a really good one so please 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 plan on coming for the september and the november meetings okay one thing and this is really serious one thing that we've been working on as a board is um, adjusting our bylaws um, today i'm supposed to be installing new officers on the board of directors um, and so all of this kind of goes together we're trying to move adjust our bylaws to where our fiscal year lines up with our officers year that way the new officers don't come in and get stuck with a budget that they didn't have any decision making upon you know so so we're trying to get that lined up we're going to try to move that to where our officers get installed in january um, we are working on the bylaws right now we will be sending those out shortly um, for review because that is part of the bylaws says that we have to vote that in as a membership okay so um if, when you get the revised bylaws for review in our newsletter we're going to send them out by email when you get those, please take the time. It takes like 10 minutes, 15 maybe to read, um, and just kind of go through and see if there's anything that um, you see that's contradictory, that, that you've got a problem with, and contact one of the board members about that if you, if you um, have a problem with that. Um, part of the problem with our, part of the reason we are not installing board members is because we have had um, no response from our nominating committee um we have had zero and so um so and and the people that have been on the board right now have been in for um at least two terms already and we need some new board members um and it's got to be it has gotten to be a situation we've got family situations and health problems that have come up within the last six months for pretty much every single one of our board members um like there's been you know chronic illnesses debilitating illnesses of immediate family members um you know families are messy and that happens and so we've all got some pretty sticky situations that have either just come up or are you know we're all dealing with so um 
what we are looking at, if um, if we do not have uh, the chairs filled, um, we we won't have a board of directors. And um, and I know this got really silent. And I, I, you know, last meeting I told a little story and tried to guilt some of y'all into it. And I'm really, <laughs> I, I I don't want. Um, I'm really heartbroken about this, um, and I'm really torn because I don't know what to do, and there's not an obvious solution. Um, but we are in a situation where, like I said, for the first time in forever, we're not scraping pennies together trying to take care of situations. Um, we're in a good situation where our membership is growing, um, but when we don't have leaders to just take care and, and serve our membership, um, we don't have an organization. We have a social club. And if we want to have a social club, that's one thing. But if we want to have a charitable organization that gives back to the community, um, one of the things that we have is our youth writing contest. Today we're giving out awards. We had over 200 entrants um, this year into the youth writing contest, which is really, really amazing. It is one of our biggest turnouts that we've ever had. Um, and that goes away. If, if this organization goes away, that goes away. And there have been members over the years that have poured literally thousands of dollars of their own money to keep this organization afloat. So I'm, I'm letting you know this, and I'm not going to beg or anything like that today. What I'm going to say is um, at our next meeting in September, we are going to um, present whatever names have been nominated for the next and then the, in November we'll take a vote on those names and if we have zero names to vote on we will have another vote in November and I really don't want to have that vote so please 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 consider meditate on this pray on this um, you know consider what this organization means to you and um, and I will tell you a lot of what we do is dealing with technology, our accounts, our, you know, things like that. And if you're not someone who does that, you, want, you might want to consider hospitality, just somebody to bring and organize and set up refreshments. Um, there's lots and lots and lots of different ways to serve, um, but we've got to have, we've got to have a president-elect. We've got to have a secretary. We've got to have a hospitality chair. I mean, these are things that we've we're all the ones that are still left are doubling up on our jobs, and it's really, really tough um, to do a single job right when you're splitting between two jobs. Okay, so that's the serious part, and um, I just wanted to present. I don't want anybody to feel like they're being blindsided. I don't want anybody to feel like we're shaking our fingers at you. Um, because this is y'all's organization. It's not the board of directors organization, okay? Um, we just have to have a board of directors in order to have the organization. So we're just letting you know ahead of time. Um, and that's really, those are our options, is fill the positions or the organization will, will have to go away. Um, and that's what we've got. So um, do we have any discussions or announcements or anything else from the rest of the membership? All right, well, without any other business, I'm gonna, oh yes, Janet, oh, the tablet, the raffle. Okay, we've got the raffles that, we've got four individual raffles, buy tickets and, and for those little four things, but we are giving away the tablet that we've been saying for a year, the, our, our, it's not this one, this is mine. <laughs> but there is a really cool tablet back there and um, the tickets, are, tell, tell us that, the amounts. Right. If you win and you're not here, we will contact you. We promise we will get it for you. Yes. Yeah, those $1 raffle tickets are available. There's a 
notebook, a Christmas book, a bag, and a T-shirt. Is that right? Okay. <laughs> yes. And who is going to show, who's going to let them show them up? Everybody, get up. <laughs> Pull out your 20s and buy those tickets. Um, no, it really is a really nice little tablet back there. So, you know, please, please, please. And we're going to do it after the kids have been here. So they're going to buy the tickets too. So you need to get as many as you can to increase your chances. That's what I would recommend. Um, okay. So if there's no other discussion amongst the room, all righty. Then I'm going to adjourn the meeting. <laughs> and I'm going to uh, bring up Linda, and she is going to. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. <laughs> I'm going to bring up Linda, and she is going to announce our, uh, our speakers. Wait, before she does that, I want to tell y'all really, really, really quickly. Um, as a membership, support each other. Buy books, buy their books, meet them, come and make this contact, shake their hand. Do not leave today without shaking their hands and giving them a hug and thanking them for being here and buying a book. You can pick one or all of the above. And please do that because these these women are um, amazing writers and they need our support and um, we all need each other's support. That's the thing is we all need each other. All right.